Okay, this is going to be um, Grey Ice Water, which is from probably my, f I think it's probably my favorite album, Building Nothing Out of Something. It's such an amazing compilation. It's not, a, is it even an LP? I don't even know. I don't have any records or anything, so I don't even know LPs or EPs or whatever. I mean, I could know the difference, but anyway. Yeah, Building Nothing Out of Something. What is that? It's tripping me out. The bottom corner there. Um, but yeah, Building Nothing Out of Something is amazing, freaking love it, so I'm going to teach you this song because it's one of my favorites, and it starts out with, so yeah, for the tone, I have delay, there's probably no delay, but I have a bunch of reverb on, so it's like that echoey kind of sound, and a tiny bit of compression, but basically it's just, yeah. The only effect I really have is reverb and compression, but you don't need it. So anyway, starts out with this just C, third fret on the A string, so it's, and then, so you strum that one time, and then it's third fret on the high E, and you strum that twice, but on the second strum, you lift up right away and then strum the open E. So it's four total strums like this. So one, two, three, four. And so yeah, it's three on the high E and then same thing, three on the B and then open B. So you want to hold this C note throughout the whole thing, so let it ring like this. So that's the riff is... Oops. 
you play it twice, but on the second time when you play it, instead of doing the the B string with the three third fret and then open like this, instead of doing that, you just strum open G. So, so the whole riff, it's like two parts basically, but the first time you do fretted, um, sorry, B string fretted at the third fret, and then the next time it's just open G. So let me play the whole thing through like this. And then from that C, you just move your finger over to G. But I actually like to use my thumb here, and you'll see why, because there's this little, because of this part. Sorry. So yeah, because of that part, it's kind of weird if you finger it like this. Like I normally play middle finger for fretting a G note because... Anyway, a lot of people do, but anyway, you want to play it with your thumb. Or I do. You can play it however you want. Don't listen to however I'm saying. You don't have to play it anyway. Just this is how I play it. So I'm um, sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going off on tangents today. So yeah, I play with my thumb here, and then this is all on the high E, third fret, fifth, so it's three, five, three. But then on the when you strum that second, third fret, or so I'm just gonna call it by the note because I'm getting confused by talking about fret numbers. So this is a G, third, third fret on the E is a G note. So that little riff is. 3, G, A, G, and then you slide down, and then it's open, like that. Man, I'm having a hard time explaining this for some reason, but I'm just going to try and play it slow, and hopefully I'll explain the other parts better, but I'll post a tab, so anyway, the whole thing's like this, the intro riff and main riff of the song. Because I pretty much taught it very badly, but the second part, the chords, this part, the uh, at home on a boat, it's a fish trap. That part is an um, octave chord, so it's a G, so third fret on the low E string, and then you're muting the A, and then fretting the uh, fifth fret of the D. This is a just a G octave chord. A. So it's G, A, and then I guess it'd be B. Yeah, G, A. And then you slide up to um, 10, 12, and then back down to 7, 9. So the riff is like this. Um, I'll say by numbers. Sorry, I'm being very confusing about that. I'm just going to do by numbers like I usually do. So 3, 5, 5, 7, 7, 9. Back down to seven nine like this. And then the riff after that is all on the B and G strings. And I fret it with like um, my ring finger on the fifth fret of the B and my middle on the fifth fret of the G. And then you can use your first finger on the fourth fret of the G. And then it's... So that riff is just, yeah, just these fingers here, and it's, and then lift up your middle finger, and then put it back down. And then open, and then you go to that, the octave chord. And then back down. 
back to that. And then, um, yeah, it just goes back to the riff. Oh, I forgot, yeah, the main, like, the part where he's like, you're standing by the ice water. That part's weird, but it's just C, just third fret on the A string. You can just play it like this if you want. The way he's playing on the recording is like this weird, he's doing like two bends. He's like doing a um, semi-pitch bend. So he's basically bending up to this fourth fret here, but he's bending the th at the third a tiny bit. And then same thing on the G. Actually way less on the G. So you can do that, you can do the bend thing, or you can just you can just keep time before you go back into the main riff again. Yeah, and that's the whole song, I think. Oh, there's harmonics a little bit. I think it's... Uh... Yeah, it's like 7th, 5th, and 3rd. Or, sorry, no, no, no. Um, 9th, 7th, and 5th. On the uh, B or G strings, probably. Yeah, hopefully that made sense. All right, have a good one, guys.